Lasting world peace cannot be realized so long as unjust conditions prevail and peoples under foreign domination continue to be deprived of their fundamental right to freedom, independence and self-determination. This is one of the quotes derived from the declarations of the Non-Aligned Movement, which plans to hold its mid-term ministerial conference in Baku on April 5th to 6th, under the theme of promoting international peace and security for sustainable development. The Non-Aligned Movement was founded during the collapse of the colonial system and at the height of the Cold War. It ruled that member countries could not be involved in alliances or defense pacts with the main world powers. In this way, the NAM sought to distance itself from the Western and Soviet power blocs. Today, some of the critics support the idea that the NAM has lost its relevance, as the world has transitioned from bipolar to multipolar and needs reinvention. However, Peter Tate, a journalist and international senior advisor to the Chicago Kent College of Law, says that the NAM is more relevant today than during the Cold War. I believe that the non-aligned movement is much more relevant and is much more um, proactive than many other organizations in the world. It is the second largest multilateral organization that we have today, standing behind the United Nations organization. The non-aligned movement is a strong advocate for the independence, freedom, uh, sustainability, and uh, the uh, autonomy of all oppressed people. So I think that uh, with, the, uh, with the current uh, events that we are uh, observing in the world, I believe that the non-aligned movement has a significant role to play and uh, will have a solid future. Azerbaijan became a full-fledged member of the NAM in 2011 at the ministerial conference held in Bali and is going to chair the organization from 2019 until 2022. Peter Tays considers that the upcoming chairmanship of the Republic of Azerbaijan in the NAM is a tangible and concrete result of the active leadership role of Azerbaijan that has been embraced and implemented over the last 25 years. Azerbaijan will gain a lot of results from this chairmanship in the NAM, says the political analyst the image of Azerbaijan in the world will uh, totally, will completely improve and uh, improve as, as well as uh, receive uh, positive results from all of these international dignitaries and government officials that will be coming from over 150 nations across the world, as well as many international organizations that will be participating on some of the uh, major, some of the most important uh, meetings that the non-aligned movement will be organizing in Baku from 2019 until 2022. Let's not forget that uh, there are only two countries that are members of the non-aligned movement uh, from the European continent, and they are Azerbaijan, and Belarus. So with the uh, chairmanship of Azerbaijan, uh, of the non-aligned movement, uh, the uh, summit of the non-aligned non movement will be coming back to Europe since the 1980s. According to the expert, Azerbaijan's chairmanship can also contribute to the settlement of the Armenia-Azerbaijan-Nagorno-Karabakh conflict. I believe the uh, the settlement of Nagorno-Karabakh problem has uh, many uh, levels, has uh, many components, and uh, the uh, chairmanship, of, chairmanship of Azerbaijan in the non-aligned movement will uh, make the voice of Azerbaijan be heard at the international stage. The upcoming chairmanship of Azerbaijan of the non-aligned movement uh, will uh, improve the image of the non-aligned movement, at the same time help the Republic of Azerbaijan uh, make its voice be heard in regards to the uh, many crimes against humanity committed by the Armenian government and the Armenian armed forces in the sovereign territory 
of the Republic of Azerbaijan. The organization embracing 120 members, as well as 17 countries with the observer status, plays an important role in the maintenance of international peace and security. Its principles of national sovereignty, independence, non-interference, peaceful settlement of disputes and fairness in North-South relations indicate that this institution is totally relevant to the modern-day challenges and is extremely important in ensuring that the voices of developing nations are not disregarded. Turbet Paorova, CBC.